to foraging habitat. Um, this is kind of textbook foraging habitat. This is that, that tree I was telling you about. Um, there's the adult owl right at the top. And uh, uh, the, the foraging habitat is uh, in moist and or dry, deep soil. I underline the, the deep soils because it's really important. That's why the highlands is so productive. And you ask, well, why does deep soil matter? If we had rock here, we wouldn't have the pocket gophers, the shrews, the voles, the, those little creatures that, that like that deep, uh, moist soil and or, or dry soil. So, um, you know, that's really important and that's what I think the, the Highlands provides for these guys. Relatively open understory timber stands um, is, is also where they'll hunt. So, um, the, if, if a, tr a nest tree is, is too far from a meadow opening, um, they'll they'll try to find something similar close. With, you know, this is fairly open underneath the canopy, um, so that's that's some foraging habitat there. Everybody's probably familiar with this. This is the Highland Snow Park, a little snowflake there, and uh, this is the Havilla Road here. Um, this is textbook great gray habitat, and uh, we've got several platforms in this frame here. Um, and there's there's probably more owl nests that, that I know about, um, but open meadows, dark, you know, overstory timber, um, riparian zones, timber openings, timber openings. So you know that that's why the the highlands is so special. If we had a lot of scattered stuff like this up on the south end of Mount Hope. I don't think this is, you know, that great a habitat, but w once you get into this stuff here, where, where you have more canopy cover and, and just more cover in general um, next to these open meadows, e even ag fields are really good for them too. Here's Fancher Dam here. Okay, let's talk about the prey. I've kind of touched a little bit about it, but um, their number one prey that they, at least the literature has been... Um, talking about is a pocket gopher and probably everybody hates the pocket gopher right if you've got a yard and you see the little trails um, that's that guy right there that, that's the culprit um, but if you've got great grays out great gray owls around keep these guys around because they they love pocket gophers. <coughs> over 60 percent in the, the study down in Oregon uh, they preyed on pocket gophers so again pocket gophers aren't very big but they're abundant, and generally, where do you see them? You see them in the, the openings, the roadbeds, these these meadows. Once that snow leaves, you see those little trails. They go all over. Everybody's nodding their head. So um, that's that's this guy. And if you've got a nice yard, you might curse them out. But um, the great gray, they love them. Yeah. Um, any anybody will eat these guys. <laughs> so the, the other one is that that's common around this area is a redback bull, and that's what you saw that one owl in the video um, eat, and then that other picture. And boy, they're not very big; they're just a little bull. And this is a really common one for around here. Other other stuff uh, or other prey species of this size, shrews. Uh, there's other species of bulls too. So any little uh, mouse, you know, field mice, anything like that. If you've got populations of those and you live close to the habitat I just described, then you, you probably have a good chance you'll have great grays around the place. But the, these are the two top um, prey base for the great gray owl. And again, really small prey to, uh, for a, a really big owl. This I found on the internet. I was looking for some some winter photos, and uh, this guy's his day is not going to turn out right. Well. <laughs> so, yeah. Some alter alternative prey that, that they've been known to eat based on pellet collection and dissection. Um, of course, we've got the red squirrel. Red squirrels are abundant everywhere. Um, but I, they're, they're alternate prey. They're not their primary prey. But if you live in an area 
where there's maybe more red squirrels than, than some other um, critters, then, then they're going to go after the, the red squirrel. And then these uh, great, uh, great creatures, the northern flying squirrel, um, that one that almost scared me out of my pants in that one, that one nest tree. Um, my guess is he wouldn't have been there if, if the, the female had her, her young there that year, but um, th these guys are also um, known to uh, be in their, in their diet. But they're, again, they're, they're a larger species. Um, this is the, the size of, of species, um, the bards and the, the barred owl and then the, the great horned owl, some of their the closer um, forest owls would, would prey on. Um, so.